you. Hi, guys. How you doing? How's Good. it going, man? Your, both your backdrops are much better than my plain rubbish one, I have to be honest. All right. <laughs> but it's green. You can put a green screen. You can put anything behind you, right? It's actually like, it's white, actually, because of my lighting. It doesn't it doesn't work. I've tried it before, and it's 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 embarrassing, let's be honest. A little wild. <laughs> uh, congratulations on the film. I watched it this afternoon. Really enjoyed it. It's got me in the mood for Christmas, and it's been a rubbish year, so that's something to look forward to, let's say. Thank you. Uh, David, uh, I know, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is a, a kind of a 20-year-plus passion project for you. Um, why did this one stick around for you and why were you so kind of desperate to make it if you got the opportunity? Because I think uh, I think my inner child needed this, you know, film. And, you know, to be honest with you, I, I think everyone that watches it is it kind of wake, reawakens that inner child. And then I became a father uh, about you know, my son's seven. So once I was now around a child, I'm like, well, OK, I want I want my, my son to to have something to look at that will, you know, kind of be forever etched in his mind, his childhood. But I wanted it to be some with characters that look like him. You know, I, I didn't have that when I was growing up. Um, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang was my favorite. And I don't know if you've seen that movie. Nobody in that movie looked like me. <laughs> so, uh, I, I wanted this for him. <laughs> Uh, Forrest, for you, I mean, how, how uh, did, did that kind of echo for you in the sense that David wanted to tell this story and tell a story that that was reflective of, of, of you know, seeing the characters that maybe he hadn't seen when he was a, a child? Because there's, there's a real purity about the story as well. I mean, it's really special to be able to see people of color and, and uh, black people playing and living in this universe and it being allowed to be so expansive. And then to be in a universe where a world where uh, so many different cultures are crossing each other, whether they be like from different uh, races, where they be from different, you know, utilizing different accents, uh, all in one sort of universe, and uh, it was really exciting to uh, to get the opportunity to do that and to tell a story that dealt with overcoming problems and like finding joy, and um, that's very special. Yeah, David, I was going to ask you about the kind of it's such a large movie as well. Lots of computer generated stuff. There. I've just seen who's behind you, who I absolutely love, love that guy. Uh, how much was a how much of a challenge was that to to mirror, to to match the CGI with with the real people and to make sure you had kind of real sets and a real environment? Well, you you know the production design gave such a rich palette, you know, to pull from and the actors, the texture and everything and the costume design. So there was this, there was, there was a real texture of, of real elements that were already created. So it was time to plug into the uh, visual effects. I went with Framestore uh, out of the UK, of course, and who, and they just, you know, we really said, well, how can we heighten this experience with when we went to animation, how can we make sure that the emotion is still there? We can heighten the story and extend the storytelling. And I think that's what they were able to do. And it, it was just like a kid in a candy store for me. Yeah. And Forrest, I mean, I just wanted to ask you very quickly as a final question. You've worked with so many amazing actors and actresses over your uh, amazing career. I wanted to ask you about Madeline because she's a, a complete ball of energy. I just wondered what it was like working alongside her. You know, Madeline is, is a unique being, you know. I, when I first saw her, I thought this woman is a rock star. She's a, an amazing actress. She's someone who's destined to be a talent that we watch for decades and decades and decades in the classic sort of Judy Garland, Shirley Temple, someone that we follow and like we grow with. I think that she's uh, got a lot to offer the world uh, as an artist. and. I'm excited to see what she does. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I, just as a final, very, very quick question. I've asked everybody this uh, very quickly. David, what's your favorite Christmas film? One that is not a Christmas film is Willy Wonka. It was shown, I saw it during <laughs> Christmas, but not a Christmas film, but I would probably say that's my favorite. I just had a quick discussion with Keegan about Die Hard, but that's a whole nother. Yeah, right, uh, right. For, Forrest, what about you? What's your favorite Christmas Maybe, film? Uh, Santa Claus is coming to down. This old uh, claymation film that uh, mm -hmm. Fred Astaire and uh, Burgess Meredith like did together. I think, yeah, I love that one. Yeah, it's a good one. That's a good one, guys. Thank you so so much for your time. Absolute pleasure, and uh, and Merry Christmas. Since Merry we're Christmas. About Christmas, thanks from. so much. Have a good one. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.